hello friends we are back again with our best tutorials the topic for today is cloud formation template many people are writing back to us that we should share something on cloud formation and when we actually survey around the various interviews multiple interviews around the globe the people are concentrating more and more on containerization template and they are actually uh, asking these questions to interviewers so today i will try to answer these three questions which you are which are in display and this is the part first or uh, of our cloud formation template series uh, i i am going to publish around four parts first will be these answers second will be uh, which tool is recommended to use when you are working with cloud formation how to configure it and then third i will be going through the various sections of cloud formation template and then last but not the least i will deploying a single stack and try to show you how it works so let's start and try to answer these questions now so the first question is why there is need of code in a cloud definitely if we talk about application deployment and application development they are using a code versioning from last like from the day they started coding right the same way we are now infrastructure is moving to a term known as infrastructure as a code we want to place our infrastructure in a code so that the dynamic changes in infrastructure should be done with minimum downtime and very easily for example if i just want to increase the size or number of instances i don't need to create an instance put them into the load balancer reboot the existing instances so that they are picked or registered i will just update my cloud formation template and then i will update my stack stack is an output of our cloud formation template so this is one of the advantage of our uh, cloud formation and this is why we need a code we need rapid deployment we need to minimize the work of administration administration right moving ahead which services and tools need to be used the one service which has been used in aws for cloud formation template is cloud formation service every tool has their own way of uh, doing the automation using templates uh, even azure and gcp provide these features the tool which i will be discussing with you people is the this tool this is this is atom uh, which i will be actually discussing in my part 2 why this tool is more recommended when you are working with cloud formation because of its cost efficiency and because of its a uh, good uh, because of its uh, bright nature of output it's easy to use atom when you are working with cft in both yml and json so what's the right way to do it whenever you are coding try to create your own knowledge error database try to create your own database try to reuse your reuse your own coding Bec uh, let's take a scenario where you are just initially just trying create try to create a s3 bucket right but uh, with time now you are creating five s3 buckets try to use the same code and make it for five now you are using a ec2 instance which is calling that which is get uh, fetching data from same buckets try to use the same template copy it with a ec2 instance which is calling it so in this way you are reducing your rework and duplication work and you are also creating your efficient database so whenever you will be moving to new in infrastructure you need to deploy a new infrastructure in aws it is very rapid because you already have your cft preserved with you so guys this is the first part uh, which is mainly focused to answer these three questions in part 2 we will be taking how atom is an recommended tool when working with cft according this is my personal view, view point and then in part 3 we will be taking the different type of uh, sections of cft and this is how this series will go so keep watching keep learning keep subscribing and keep sharing thank you